Tan Cooking Caribbean with Serena. This is Larry Fenelia. I'm the co-host. And tonight is Serena's debut of a new show, a new cooking show. Uh, we all met her when she cooked on my show a couple times last month. Yes. Yeah. Right, right, Serena? Good. That's right. <laughs> I remember it well. And, and, and tonight she will be gracing us with her presence again. Um, the shows were, were, were very popular. Uh, everybody clamored for more, and they are going to get more. But before we go into Serena's kitchen, where she has a, a wonderful um, menu planned, uh, we will get to that. Let me introduce the folks in the peanut gallery. For my left, which would be you guys right out in uh, viewing land, we have Aldrich Bailey. Hey, Aldrich. Are you muted, sir? So <laughs> <laughs> I'm mute when you're interested. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Okay. How is uh, everybody tonight? Good, good. Aldrich is from Ireland. So no, I'm from Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> well, he is in Ireland tonight. Yes. He's Irish tonight. <laughs> yes. He, he, he's a Trini living in Ireland. I just live here. Right. Um, next to Aldrich is Danielle Prudhomme. Did I pronounce yes. your name properly? That's good enough. <laughs> All right, good. Danielle, Daniela is a is a longtime friend of Serena. Um, they go back. Long time days. Long. All right. How, you, you you don't want to give a number? How far you guys go back? It's at least twenty. It's about twenty years, or a little more maybe. Okay. Yes. All right. And we met when we were about nineteen, so you could do the math. We're like about. You remember we were sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it well. We were cool buddies. <laughs> right. Nice. Uh, Daniela is from Trinidad also, but she lives in Florida. Mm -hmm. Yes. Welcome. And next to Daniela, we have Eric. Tikai. Hello. Hi, Eric. Hi. Eric is um, a sushi chef that lives in France, and it is 1 a.m. down there, over there now? 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m., yeah. Right. And uh, I, I, I had the pleasure of um, going to that hangout where Eric performed magnificently. The guy made sashimi, <laughs> he made sushi, all, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. So, yes. thank Eric, you, thank you. Eric, thank you for, for coming. And... Man next to him, the, the, the musician himself, Navid Lancaster. Hi, Navid. Hi, everybody. Navid, Navid, Navid. Close enough. Close enough. Navid will be um, playing some selections for us tonight. Uh, he wrote Serena's theme song, which would be, you will hear that in the pro. Well, I pushed it out today. You so pushed it out if, today? Yes. Yeah, so if okay. you were on Facebook or you're on Google Plus today, you probably saw it, but you're gonna you're gonna hear it. Yeah, yeah, I will I will I will try to push that out um in, in the week too, huh? Yes. Like like next week and, and thing. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Serena. Um next to Navi is um Randy Hunt. Hi Randy. Hi everybody. Randy is from Utah, USA and um, he's a diver and he'll be going to Bahamas soon. And Rose Island. Right. Okay. Right. After Randy is yours truly, and then the lady of the hour, yeah. the food blogger herself, the Trini Gourmet, Miss Serena Bland. Hey, Serena. Hey, Larry. How are you? I'm good. How nice, are you? Nice, nice. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> so, so, so tell us, what are you cooking tonight? Well, I have a bit of a multi-island approach towards holiday eating tonight. So, of course, Christmas is coming and Hanukkah is starting this weekend. So, everybody is in festive mood, in festive gear. And so, this show and the next show on the 20th, it's all going to be about holiday food with a Caribbean twist, Caribbean flavors. That, that's what I, that's what I like about your your, your style, yeah. you know. You you you're all inclusive. You're I'm all inclusive. <laughs> I want everybody. I want everybody at my table. Vegetarian, vegan, it's good. It's yes, fine. Gluten it's free. Good. It's good. I got something for you. All right. So today I have baked kingfish in pineapple mm -hmm. sauce. I have cassava latkes, which I think is a really fun island twist on a traditional favorite. Mm -hmm. And I have coquito, which is a Puerto Rican 
type of eggnog is very similar to our puncha creme here in oh. Trinidad, but they put coconut milk in it. So I love that little twist as well. So well, those are the three things I'm going to be making today. Great. I can't wait. So I can't wait. I cannot wait. Okay. So um, take it away. All right. So to start it off, you can see here I've got my kingfish steaks. Nice. And they have been marinating all night in my green seasoning. And Larry, of course, knows green seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's a staple. It's a backbone of the Trinidadian flavor um, palette. And it's a combination of sives, um, shadow benny or bandania, also known as culancho, also known as a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. I have, um, I'm going to have some pictures of that on the event page as well. And um, pimento peppers are in here, thyme, fresh thyme as well. Uh, actually, I did see some of the uh, pictures up on the event page. Mm -hmm. So those of you guys who are watching from um, from the G, G Plus stream, um, you can uh, go to the event page and check out the actual um, photos, how she made the green seasoning. And uh, she has marinated the fish, fish slices, mm -hmm. in that green seasoning. It's very and simple. It's such, uh, this is such a quick, easy mm -hmm. dish, actually. Because once I put it together, and it's going to come together in just a few seconds, I'm mm -hmm. just oiling the base of the dish here. Right. I should have done beforehand. <laughs> it's, it's always the case, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is live, right? So yeah. you get to I, see everything here. I love look, to tell to do don't, something. Don't, don't, feel don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. I do the same thing. <laughs> so a little squirt of oil there at the base, mm. just a regular canola oil. And I'm just using tongs here to keep my hands clean. You don't want any contamination issues, you know? Yeah, no cross contamins. Exactly. <laughs> so. um, those of you who are looking for the recipe, uh, the recipe is in the event um, description. Mm -hmm. You can just go to the event page and um, Serena and I'm, has, I'm, Serena has um, taken her time and beautifully laid it out and the links are all there. And, and, and you'll it. notice that I'm just taking it out of the bag. I'm not really pouring the marinade out because if some people are wondering why you don't just turn dump, over the bag and just yeah, pour it all dump, out. I don't really want extra yeah. marinade in right. this dish, you know. Whatever is stuck to the fish is going to season the fish and it's going to season the sauce as well. It's going to help neutralize the sweetness of the pineapple. But I don't want all this extra marinade in here. It's going to make an ugly dark sauce if I do yeah. that. And, yes, you, you, know, you really want it to stay bright. Absolutely right. With some flecks of green, but mm -hmm. nothing more than that. So I have that here. And next I'm going to add the sauce. This is the, the pineapple sauce. So half okay. a cup of pineapple, mm -hmm. um, half a cup of tomato sauce, and then I also have, and I believe it's half cups as well, but don't quote me on that. The recipe mm -hmm. is up loaded um, mm -hmm. ginger wine and white wine vinegar as well so really good uh, flavor palette here of sweet and tangy and those are pineapple chunks that you yes. Um, yes. have put in there oh beautiful. Exactly. beautiful 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 and it's not going to look like much sauce mm -hmm. but you mm -hmm. remember fish the fish is going to spring liquid as it cooks right. so it's going you're gonna have more sauce there okay mm -hmm. So, Great, see how quickly that is? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, and you get the green, you get the red, you get the yellow. Very lovely yeah. dish. <laughs> yeah. Nice, and nice. All Stop. I'm going to do now, you know, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just going to cover the soil and put it in the oven, and the oven does the rest. Now, um, what temperature are you going to put it in the oven, and for how Good long? Good question. Um, 300 degree oven, it's a very low oven because mm -hmm. it's fish. And yeah. the fish is delicate, and this is really just going to help to poach it. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want a high heat to dry it out or anything like that, you know? Correct. So this slow heat with the seal of the foil is going to trap the heat, and it's going to create a very warm, moist environment so that the fish mm -hmm. doesn't dry out, mm -hmm. and it cooks um, slowly and evenly. Nice, and it's going nice. to go in there for 25 minutes. Oh, cool. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. So while our other dishes are going on, this will be taking care of itself, and I'm setting my trusty timer. Nothing high tech. Any questions? Any any questions from the um, 
I mean, you guys, uh, Eric, you have any any questions? Because I know you work with fish all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's a f the fish man. I, I didn't cook the fish, you know. I only uh, eat the fish, uh, fresh fish. Fresh, yeah, raw. For, yeah. For, raw, for, raw, for yeah. sushi. All about the raw. <laughs> uh, so, um, Eric, down here we have a lot of fresh fish, so I think your sushi business will thrive down here. <laughs> <laughs> How, Serena, how big was that fish? That Sorry? Did? How big was the fish? That you well, were... I buy the, the steaks by themselves. And so the six steaks I used, it would be around um, two pounds. I think it's about two pounds mm -hmm. of fish. And um, you can substitute mahi-mahi, fine kingfish. You can substitute mahi-mahi. You can substitute sea bass, um, tilapia steaks, not fillets. I really like steaks for this dish because they're very substantial with the bone-in. Um, I don't know if there are any other types of fish you would recommend, Larry. Um, as as far as uh, that 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 could take a jamin, I take like jamin. I, yeah, take a jamin. Um, people in Europe use a lot of monk monk fish. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. monk monk can take jamin. Salmon steaks as well. Yeah, salmon salmon can can take the jamin, and mm -hmm. also believe it or not, shark. Yeah, but it's very, it's very difficult to get shark in, in, in yes. European waters. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I would recommend asked... salmon for this particular dish because the flavor is so um, distinctive. This is a very, mm. it's, a, it's a kind of a strong sauce. It's a delicate sauce, but it's, it's assertive. So mm. I don't, I, it may not work very well, but I can see if it's monkfish. Mon it. Monkey could do it. Um, dolphin. Not, not the porpoise, but of course there's a fish called oh, dolphin. Yeah, mahi mahi. Mahi Mahi, right? Oh yeah, you did. You, 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 did, you did mention that. Sisters. Yeah, yeah, you did mention that. My, yeah. my, um, my bad. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to this vinegar. I found it the other day. Okay, um, let me white um. Balsamic, because I was looking for white wine vinegar. That's what the recipe calls for. But I saw uh. this white balsamic vinegar, and I never saw one before. And it's really nice. It's very fruity, mm -hmm. and um, it's interesting. <laughs> so oh, that's great. what I used in the recipe today. Yeah, nice. So oh, um, mm -hmm. an, another fish you could use is the cousin to um, king, curry. Yeah, I don't like curry. Too I, many I, bones. All the bones. I can't uh, the flavor is nice, but the yeah. bones. I know. Not able. I know. I you know. understand? I, 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 I understand perfectly. Yeah, exactly. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, see, this, that started. We can start the latkes. Right. And here I have some grated cassava. And cassava ah. also sells as yuca and manioc, depending on where in the U.S. or in the world you are located. And I have it grated. And for those who don't know, latkes are like potato pancakes, and they're a traditional part of the Hanukkah menu. Mm -hmm. And cassava, being a tuber, is an excellent substitute for potato because it doesn't have... It has a lot of similarities in texture and, and how it reacts to being fried, but it has a different flavor. So it gives that nice little twist. It's, it's a milder flavor, mm -hmm. um, a slightly sweeter flavor. So I have I it here, grated. And the other nice thing about making the latkes with um, cassava is that you don't have as much liquid. One of the main things about having good latkes is having mm -hmm. a very dry um, base that you're making the latke from. And potatoes exude a lot of liquid. So mm -hmm. you have to press and really squeeze that liquid out. And the cassava is much drier. Right. So you have that problem with um, having soggy latkes because nobody likes soggy potato. Qu question, question. Yeah. The, um, the cassava, mm -hmm. you put that in a food processor or did you grate it the old-fashioned way? The old-fashioned way? <laughs> I grate it in a food processor. And okay. that's another advantage of the cassava because the potato can get gummy when you right. try to grate it in a food processor, so it's yes. not recommended, but the cassava is so dry, it doesn't care. Nice. <laughs> and I get to cut a lot of minutes off of my prep time that way. It looks lovely. Thank Absolutely. you. So I yeah. have it mixed right here with some grated onions. And now what mm -hmm. I'm going to do is I'm going to add some flour. This is just a little bit of flour to act as a binder. Mm -hmm. And it's mixed in with the salt, it's mixed in with baking powder, and some more shadow benny. That's going to be a recurring word if you become a repeat watcher of this. For, for those of you who are in the States and Europe who might know what shadow benny is, um, you know it as probably culantro, um, which is a cousin of cilantro. Um, but 
it's more potent than cilantro. I think it's a much nicer flavor, but yeah. um, I guess depending on the person, if they feel that they want to try it with cilantro, just know that it's not a, a perfect substitute. It's not a it's not a completely comparable flavor, but I think it might work if somebody likes cilantro. They might enjoy using yeah. that here as well. So I'm just okay. mixing the flour in to the cassava, mm -hmm. and again, that's just going to act like a little bit of a binder. I don't put too much because I don't like latkes that are too doughy or too heavy. And I have the oil on a medium-high heat. Okay, um, that's regular vegetable oil, right? Um, yes, it's just oil. a regular canola oil. Okay, good. And I'm gonna. It's recommended that you put a half cup. I'm using a pot spoon. Chinese will know yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just using my pot spoon. That's my half cup. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to dump them into the oil, one pot spoon at a time. <laughs> that should be a quote somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I I, I think I'm kind of using that. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I want to see you. Yeah. I am paying attention, Serena. I'm paying attention. <laughs> um. Question mm -hmm. Re regarding the um, the skillet that you that you have there. Um, right. You had it on a on a on a medium medium heat, right? Or I had it on medium to mm. medium high. I turned it up once I put in the oil. Okay, good. <clears throat> These are just going to sit for a while, then they'll be flipped and they will continue cooking mm. through. Nice, nice. And this is when Naveed was going to do his first song, so I don't uh, know where he's Na Naveed is dropping in and out. I, I have been inviting him in, and he's been dropping right. out, inviting him in, and dropping out. Maybe you out. should all sing a song yeah. and just go <laughs> <back. laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, we're just going to have to hang. We're just going to have you, to jam, right, guys? You, you, you know what that looks like to me? That looks like um, sugar, sugar cake. cake. <laughs> 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 for, for those of you who... Um, who wonder what sugar cakes are? Sugar cake is made with um, grated coconut. Yes. Right? And we put a little coloring in it, a little sugar. Lots and, of sugar. Yeah, right. Lots, lots, lots of sugar. Of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're diabetic, I strongly suggest you stay away from sugar yeah. cakes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we basically put it. In a little bit uh, shallow, shallow um, fry in in some oil like like that, and um, but but not long, not long, just just enough to get it okay, golden, golden, and then yeah. move it and take it. Yeah, and once once it comes out, it it's soft, but as it sits and as it cools, it gets hard. Um, I think Navi just came back in, but uh, he is not. His video hasn't clicked in yet. Yeah, he's not totally connected. And he's right on time. If he's ready to uh, just jump in. And he's gone. And he's no, gone again. Shit, he's not liking <laughs> us today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I flip uh, them, the first flip, mm -hmm. and they're just going to sit a little bit longer. So they're golden right now and brown around the edges. Mm -hmm. They're not no. going to get as dark as potato latkes, so don't be worried mm -hmm. and don't try to necessarily achieve that because... It's just the way cassava is. It's very pale. It's 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 bright white mm -hmm. when it's raw, and um, it doesn't really darken the same way that um, potatoes do. And, and and let me ask you, in the mix, mm -hmm. when you were mixing the lacquer, after you grated the um, the cassava, right. you you put onions, you put a little, you season it with a little salt, a little black pepper. Or? <laughs> there goes my phone. Um, mm. The salt and the black pepper are in mm -hmm. the flour, which is added afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, okay. because right. I don't want the salt to draw the liquid out of the cassava right. and make it soggy while it's sitting and waiting, you know? Yeah, so good point, good point. As dry as possible, um, I keep that in the flour separately. So right when I'm ready to make it, I mix it, mm -hmm. put it in the pan. Right, so so those of you out there who like to season things quickly, listen to Miss Serena. <laughs> <laughs> put it in at the last minute. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ah, oh, that looks that looks nice. That in the... It looks nice. You want some? I want yes. some, of course. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could smell it because the onions when they I know, them, I know. Get that aroma and with the shadow, Benny. Y y you know the funny thing is, Serena. I have some um, cassava in my freezer right now, and I am. Oh, I will be. I will be doing that tomorrow. 
Yes. Believe it or not. And send to me after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These are these are looking like they're almost ready to come out the pan. Eric, Eric, is that something you would um you definitely try? Yeah, I think I think I will uh, check the recipe. Mm -hmm. And um, I will I will try. Is is cassava something you would get in 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 France? Well, they might they might call it something different. They might call it yucca. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Y u c c a. Yes. Yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. one C, sometimes two. Yeah. Some. Yeah. Sometimes one C, sometimes. Yeah. Um. They, they, it might come across as as yucca over there in France, but um. What, sure? what, what would be a substitute, Serena, if if they don't get um? You said you mentioned potato, but potato yeah, has potato its the standard. Yeah. Um. But but that has its <coughs> inherent um issues. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Some people use parsnip. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Some people use parsnip for latkes. Um. Carrots, carrots, turnips. Mm -hmm. Really, any root vegetables can be that can be grated that is sturdy. Anything that you would naturally fry. Um, I'm even seeing some people playing around with beets, you know, because everybody's becoming more adventurous these days. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm even seeing beets turning you know, up in people's latke recipes. Beets, beets is getting a, a, a lot of mileage these days, you know. Yeah, it's having a renaissance. It used to be the vegetable that people dreaded. Right. But now, I mean, I always liked it, you know. Now yeah. they're turning to it, so I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, because I, I love beets. I remember my mom, when I was... You know, little boy. Well, you're in Trinidad. Um, on <laughs> Sunday, on for Sunday lunch, you have the um potato salad, and they right. and right. they have beets. She used to cut up beets and, and and put it in there. You used to turn the potato salad red. Yeah, I, I love that color. <laughs> I still I still find myself doing it from time to time, Larry. I mean, you know, I um, you know, because you can get you can get beets now in these little. You can, you can get them obviously from in the market, but you can also get them vacuum packed. You know they're cooked right. already, and they, you know and they're sealed. You know, and like mm -hmm. you know, they they're really nice. You know, because Ooh. it's like um, you can you know they come in packets of four. You can cut them up. You know, you can use them in all sorts of things. But just getting back to that cassava issue for a little bit. If if is it Eric? Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 If if Eric was supposed to look in the African shops in, yeah. in and around, yeah, he'd all definitely right. find cassava because. As a Trinidadian, right. as a Trinidadian living out here, you know, I used to find it very, very difficult to find things like plantain and sweet potatoes and these kind of things, you know. Yeah, yeah, but can we use uh, sweet potatoes to? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. Can yes, yes, any like any root vegetable. Yes, it's very easy to find uh, sweet potatoes uh, in Paris. It's very easy to find. It should be very easy to find cassava as well if if you go to the African shops. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. You know, hey, you guys, make sure that you, you have your chat window open because we do put the links in the chat area. I put a little mm -hmm. link on cassava from Wikipedia. You can probably put okay. it in the yeah. event stream as well, Randy, because that's a really informative link. I'm sure some of the yeah, people yeah, out there might Yeah, yeah, well, yeah Randy, put it, put, it in the, um, put it on the event stream because... Uh, because Nigeria if, is the biggest producer in the world of, uh, of cassava. And then, and then India has the best, uh, most productive farms. Oh, okay, interesting. Look at that. Look at that. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> no, no. Now you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those look lovely, Serena. Aren't they? Look at that. Color. Yeah. Wow. Can you see that? And any 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 anybody taking a screenshot because my um yeah, my, screen, my screen my um, screen my screenshot is guy. not working my screen capture is not working. Mm. Are you on a are you on a, a Mac or a PC, Larry? I'm on a PC. Oh, let's not start the platform wars. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 Awesome screen capture. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a little trick here, right? Um, if you hit your print screen button, uh, it's it's not working. That's 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 my issue. Oh, your Ooh. print screen button isn't working. It's not it's not working. Yeah, that's why wow. I don't I don't <laughs> I wow. can't capture the screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's... I'm trying to do a couple screenshots. Yeah, thanks, Randy. <clears throat> yeah. 
Now, latkes are a thing that you don't want to get too cold or you don't want to set aside for too long mm -hmm. because they will start to soften, just like potato fries. You know, when they are hot and they're fresh, it's yeah. very different than when they've been sitting around for two hours. Mm -hmm. Latkes are exactly the same thing. So I'm going to finish this batch when we're done. But this is just the first set to get going because I'm, I'm guessing my guests will appreciate the crunchy. The crunchy oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks, it looks beautiful. I mean, it's yeah. nice and golden brown. So yeah. this here is to show you how they mm. finish. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice yeah. color. Very nice color. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we're going to make our cocktail. Ah. Mm. This is Larry's favorite part of every show. As, as a pirate, I have to say, <laughs> <laughs> Will you hold up that dish again real quick, please, Serena? Oh, hold on a second. Just taking out my can opener. <laughs> yes. Let me get that for you. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, I'm very hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't even smelled it yet. <laughs> You're just imagining. Yeah. So, so what folks, I have here is coquito. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's the Puerto Rican, you know, eggnog, just like Pancho Creme is the Trinidadian eggnog. Mm -hmm. But I'm making an eggless one because when I first started making it, I, um, I worked from recipes that didn't have eggs. And I just mm -hmm. kind of kept going that way because I enjoyed it so much. I didn't feel to really go through that extra step. And plus I right. make Pancho Creme as well. So if I'm making Pancho Creme and Coquito, like I'm just going to have like 500 eggs a day in my diet. Oh, like yeah, that. yeah. Cholesterol <laughs> city. <laughs> I'm not sure I want that. So yeah. here I'm using coconut cream. Ooh. There we go. Let's get that yeah. open. You have to stir it a bit because it separates. But mm. coconut cream, I remember um, Julia. Is it Julia? Yes. Who used Ju this? Ju 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 yeah. yeah. So coconut cream, this, you get it in the liquor aisle um, or in a liquor store. Guapa. Very different from coconut milk, so mm -hmm. that's why I made the effort to show you it because mm -hmm. it's not coconut milk, it's coconut right. cream. Right, cream. Yeah. You, 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 um, it, uh, toast, not toasted almond. There's a, there's a cocktail. Um, I used, I used to enjoy it back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh shucks, what's the name of that cocktail? They use coconut cream in it. It's not the pina colada, no. Pina colada. There you go. <laughs> I'm thinking it's some exotic thing like no, know, yeah. Something or... Well, those those are back. I mean, you know, when you reach my age, you know, you know, you yeah, know, you know, you know, you know how that goes, right? <laughs> <laughs> and these days it's just wine and beer. Right. You know. So I'm here putting on some condensed milk. Mm -hmm. So this is really rich. This is not for if you're watching your waistline. I mean. Just, just forget it this time. I can't even say, you know, within moderation for this drink, but it but tastes it, so good. But the beauty about it is that, you know, this is Christmas, Christmas time. Yeah, tell yourself you that. Know, yeah. Treat yourself a little bit. You know, you don't want to be always watching, 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 watching. Right. That's what the January first is yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. Have, have a little balance. Have a little balance in, 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 in your life. You know. Yeah. And now I'm going to put the evaporated milk. Okay, so um, what, what's the measurements again? Well, With I'm using 14 ounce tins of evaporated milk and of um, condensed milk mm -hmm. and two 14 ounce tins of coconut cream. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how many that adds up to. Maths was never my strong point. <laughs> Well, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> and then, and I'm not even sure this is going to fit in my blender. I might have to pour some out. Oh, no, I'll just stir it in at the end. Yeah, um, just stir it I'm going to put a mini flask of some Angostura white oak. Right. Oh. This is a good one. Yes. <laughs> that, yeah. that, Eric, Eric, that is um, distilled here in Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Angostura is a local company. Um, yeah. you, you, you're familiar with Angostura bitters, right? Yeah, 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 right. Right, well, the same, the same um, 
company that that manufactures that rum manufactures the bitters, and the bitters is a is a is a very old um, secret recipe. It, I think how, how old is that, um, Serena? Over a hundred and thirty years, hundred and forty years. Let's see here. Where's Larry? Back up with me for the coquito. Yeah, the bitters, Angostura bitters. I'll tell you now. I'll tell you now. And according to the bottle, it's. 1824. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 It'll be a good one. It's a very good one. Yeah. So I have about a teaspoon there of bitters. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of cinnamon. And, and those are. like a lot, but it, um, it, it mm -hmm. dissipates and, um, you know, it gets distributed rather evenly once you blend the drink. Right. And then the I, last thing is some fresh nutmeg. Oh, so beautiful. Nutmeg. I got my grater. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. So I'm going to grate that there. I Those was are... working the blender with the, nut, with the um, rum, but that will overflow it. So I'm just going to blend yeah. this and I'll stir and in the rum. And then stir in the rum. Okay, great. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> for those, those of you who are looking for the recipe, it's on, on the event page. Um, it's all, all three recipes are there. Right. Mm -hmm. So... Now, you see, look, it brings Trinis together. Every mm -hmm. time home, no matter yeah. where you were. Where you go, um, look, look, uh, there you go. There we go. Aldrich, Aldrich is in Ireland oh, and he I has his bottle of Angostura. I got that picture right. There you go. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is just made with the same ingredients since 1824, Larry. Right. We, yeah, yeah. Um, Serena, Serena. Shared it with us. Thanks. Oh, he went to get this. He didn't yeah. hear me. <laughs> he went to get his. So I'm gonna whir up the drink just for a few seconds here. Right. Okay. Three ears. There we go. There you go. There we go. And I'm gonna pour it into my jug. Ah, uh, Serena. Um, Randy has a question for you. Sure. What was this called again, the drink? Coquito. C-O-Q-U-I-T-O. You see, you see that, that, um, that picture you have there? Save that for me, yeah? <laughs> Sorry. As I as I finish the show, I coming down the road, you know. Understand? Understand? So here I have my jug. Okay. Right. Wait. <laughs> I have to get down the road, and I'm just gonna pour my rum. Yeah, pour the rum. Ah. How much? Ah. How much? How much rum is that? How much rum is that? It says 170 milliliters. You could put more. Uh, as a, as yeah, more, 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 more sounds, more, more sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> about right. <laughs> you, you're, you're, a, you're a peer on the pirates pub already, so you're, oh, you're oh. a pirate, you're an airy pirate, so you just yeah. pour rum, pour rum. More rum, more rum. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pour some in here. Lovely. Oh, that is nice. That is oh, so such creamy. a tease. Mm. I'm such so a nice Oh, that <laughs> looks <laughs> lovely. You move that a little higher. There you go. <laughs> mm. Smile. <laughs> Give me a glass, Serena. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, Eric wants, wants a glass. Eric wants I want to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I want the jug. <laughs> no. I, I, I think it has enough room. That's I, just Larry it. says he likes pina coladas. Is that I, as good I, as the pina colada? Very similar. Okay, then you get this song. <laughs> we can't play that, buddy. We are on air. That's yeah, copyright. copyright. <laughs> <laughs> we don't gotta get shut down. <laughs> exactly. We're not that pirate. Larry's not that pirate. I'm not that much of a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm only a pirate on Fridays, right? Right, <laughs> Serena? <laughs> Part-timer. <laughs> now, what is customary? You know that noise is? Yeah. The fish. Yeah. Your fish, fish is, is ready. ready. Fish is ready. See what I mean? So like I made a cocktail, I made a side, and I didn't have to do nothing but my main dish because the oven was doing all the work. Yeah, right. there you go. Isn't that just great? I think it is. Oh, this here. A 
And let me take this out. Make sure I don't burn myself. Mm. I've got it out. Can't wait to see that. Okay. Oh yeah. Ooh, let me get Oh, oh my <laughs> I have green seasoning on my floor right now. Can you see there? Can you see Larry? Looks good. Looks great. Thank you. Looks absolutely <laughs> great. I'm gonna put that in. I was one. I was um I was muted. <laughs> you were you muted your own self? I tell you. <laughs> so that's going to just go in there a little bit more till we're done. In the residual heat, nothing wrong there. And we're going to plate that in a second. Mm -hmm. Put that there. So the traditional sides to latkes is um, sour cream and applesauce. And I love the sour cream, so I'm going to be putting that in one of my cute little bowls here. Mm. It go alongside the cassava, but instead of applesauce, which I'm not really a fond of, I'm trimmy. I'm putting some sweet and spicy mango chutney with oh, my, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You understand what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Hey, Jason, open this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have Jason there for muscle? <laughs> what does the cassava taste like, uh, just plain, it, without the salt and pepper on it? It's a very mild flavor, um, but with salt and with how it's prepared, it can have like a sweet undertone. It's very creamy. Yeah. It, um, it, it, I, I usually compare it to mashed potatoes, even when um, just in the flavor and the mouthfeel of it. Um, depending a, on how it's prepared. That's a very good description. It's very comforting. It's a very yeah. comforting sauce. So here I have my mango chutney in the bowl. Nice. And that's what you know we're going to have our latkes with along with the traditional sour Will you cream. you move that up again, Serena? I'll get a picture of that. Sure. Ah, got it. Yeah, okay. Now folks, you could, you could make your own mango chutney. You can um, make your own mango chutney. I didn't have time for that. I know, but but um, plus mango is not in season down here anyway. Yeah, not right now. Um, maybe, maybe you could um, do you have that on your Trini Gome that um that recipe? I have Amcha uh -huh. in my um Glam by Request ebook, which people can get at glambyrequest.com, and the recipe for the kingfish actually just appeared on KwanzaaCulinarians.com. It was featured there, and oh. it's also going to appear in my holiday recipe ebook, which is going to be called Holiday Glam. So that that the details for that will come out on my stream soon in coming days. But um, the mango amcha, I have that. I don't have mango chutney just. Larry, would you type that correct spelling in the in the chat for me for that? What's that? Mango chutney? Yeah. Sure. Or just tell me how to spell chutney. <laughs> oh, he's a complete newbie to Trini's. To Trini's. Do you know how to spell delicious? C H U T N E Y. Yeah. C H U T N E Y. Chutney. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, we 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 ready to play? Yeah, I think we're ready to play. Nice. Let me just get my soul cream. Oh yeah, the sour cream, I forgot about that. Nice. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet when you're saying nice. Well, I could just, I'm, I'm full of anticipation. Yeah. Full of anticipation. Yeah. I, I love sour cream, like it's pretty bad because I can just eat it plain. Like I don't even need to put it on anything. And people tell me I'm weird for that. I, I put sour cream in. You see the soups? You see when when I make a make a pot of um Trini lentil soup. Right. With with um. Oh yeah. Vegetables and then. On I, I I put a dollop of um sour cream on that. I would do that as well. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm gonna steal that from you, Lavi. Yeah, it's nice. Real mm -hmm. nice. I'm gonna put two latkes here. Mm hmm Mm. And two latkes over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two latkes over there. Got my little sauces. And then, put this to the side. Let me put this on the side counter. Thank you. And then my pot holders. Get my fish. The burner. I'm always paranoid about things shattering on burners. <laughs> Saw that happen once and it scared me. I'll take a relatively small piece of fish here. And some sauce. Let's get that there. And of course some pineapple goes here. Who doesn't want more pineapple? Perfect there. Yeah. And how's that look? Wow. wow. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh my god. Wonderful. <laughs> I think it looks like I'll be going to American Airlines to get a ticket. Oh, <laughs> like it was all done in forty five minutes. How did yeah. it do that? It looked nice. I face. still got a drink, so you see? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hold, it, hold your dish up a little higher so I can get it in with you and no your problem. face. No problem. Is this better? No, I was going to, I meant up oh, so Oh, you mean we, on this camera here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, oh, well I don't want to tip it because then it, the sauce will drip. Okay, all right. Yeah, this camera is probably better for the food. Yeah, I got a good shot of that. Yeah, okay. it looks good. <laughs> it looks real good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Wonderful. So, folks, there you have it. In under 45 yeah. minutes, she yeah. did a cocktail, she did latkes, and she had the oven cook in the fish. <laughs> 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 But it was all brilliantly executed, I have to admit. Thank you. Uh, so, Serena, tell us when is your next show? I think she froze. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I, I think she froze just in time after everything was 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 done. Um, Serena's show would be in two weeks. For those of you who um who are looking on, um, t two weeks. I don't it's know it's going to be every. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think you froze. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> I was ask. I was asking about when is your next show? My next show is December twentieth, and it is going to be a cornucopia. Like you don't even know what I have planned. It's ridiculous. I'm going to mm. have about five or six things, believe it or not. Because let's end the year. Let's end the year right. Let Let's just go out. Let's yes. do this. I'm going to have go, five. Go or six to the bank. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah, announce them great. pretty soon what they're going to be. You're going to be surprised, Larry. I'm not, I'm not even telling you yet. All right. <laughs> no, I, I have no clue. You don't I have, have no clue. <laughs> yeah. Well, Serena, you, you, again, you dazzled us with your brilliance. Aww. Um, it, was, it, was, it was great. It was great watching you cook and, yeah. and explain everything. You were Thank spot you. on. Everything was, was brilliant. Good job. And I would like to thank everyone for coming out. Um, I know it's late over there in uh, Ireland and also in Paris. So, Aldrich, thank you, sir. No, man, it's, it's been a pleasure to be here. And, you know, actually, actually see Serena doing it. Um, Good time, right? Well, yeah, but, you know, I, I like Trini Gomez, I'll come for me as, as my survival guide, you know, I mean, as yeah. a, a Trini <laughs> Divinity Foreign. Yeah. It is my survival guy, but um, it's, it's, it's really it's really been a pleasure to be here, seeing her doing it live. Great, great. Thank you for coming. And uh, Daniela, thank you for coming. Um, yes, I'm sure I'll you. see you at the next show. Right? Absolutely. Nice, nice. <laughs> and Eric, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. It was magnifique. Magnifique. Sure. Magnifique. Yeah. Magnifique. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I know it's I know it's late over there now. It's morning. Yeah. Almost, almost two o'clock. Yeah. Um, Randy, thank you. I guess he's. Randy, <laughs> <laughs> I think Randy's on his way. Yeah. <laughs> Randy's on the plane already. Yeah, and um, Navid. Well, Navid. Oh. You miss you miss a good time. I loved buddy. his songs. They were so yeah. good. <laughs> next yeah. time. Next next time next time we'll have his internet connection sorted yes, up. Yes, it happens. Um, folks, if you want to see more of Serena's wonderful. Um, recipes and dishes, you can go to Trini Gourmet, T R I N I G O U R M E T dot com. Trini Gourmet dot com. And, you and of course, she's on G Plus as well. Uh, she's right here on G Plus. Yeah. Hey. I'm new. <laughs> and uh, you could watch this again on Hangout Networks, Hangoutnetworks dot com. You can see this show as, as well as the other cooking shows that, um, that I produce. Um, join us next time. I won't be. Um, I won't be having my show on Sunday. I'm I have a little flu, so I'm I'm taking a rest. But uh, tomorrow, be sure to join us on the Pirates Pub. Uh, are you Are you going to be there tomorrow? Me? Yeah. I I think so. It's it's either tomorrow or the fourteenth that I'm I will be there. I think it's okay. the fourteenth. I may not be there. All right. Well, folks. Again, Larry Fenoglia on behalf of Serena Bland. Serena, tell everyone goodbye. Bye, everyone. Thanks for <laughs> Bye. coming. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Love.